All right, everybody, thank you for logging on to statechampsnetwork.com or if you're watching this on our social media platforms, YouTube or Facebook or Twitter. Uh, we've been breaking news this week. The State Champs Sports Network been working overtime. We brought you the story about Pontiac Notre Dame Prep going to be leaving the Catholic League. And then this thing happened, and uh, we have a new head coach at Warren D. LaSalle. His name is Scott Murchie. You may know that name. He's been at Chippewa Valley for a long time, and he, of course, was a longtime coach at U of D Jesuit, played at Brother Rice, coached at Brother Rice. Now he is with the enemy, so to speak. Just kidding, we give him a hard time. But uh, Warren D. LaSalle is obviously a great job, the best opening in high school football, and um, it's a big job. Yeah. Um, but this is something that uh, has been in the back of your mind for a long time that you wanted to be able to get back into the Catholic League. Well, yeah, I mean, coming from the Catholic League and you know, growing up, um, you know, going to Catholic grade school, Catholic high school, um, coaching at UAD for nine years, um, and then back at Rice. I mean, that's just kind of always been the fabric, you know, I'm made out of. And um, I just have tremendous respect for the, the schools and the programs in the Catholic League, the great rivalries and the tradition and, um, you know, the all-boy, all-male environment and the rivalries there are, are really unique. Um, you're at schools where um, the kids are choosing to be there and their families are making great sacrifices to send them there. So it's almost, you know, like choosing a college, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, there's, unfortunately, there's, there's not a lot of Catholic schools left. And, um, you know, De La Salle is, has done a great job. Coach Ferska has done a great job and, and their coaching staff and their kids there. And, um, you know, I, like I said, I, I didn't know till yesterday this actually was going to happen. So, um, what have the last 24 hours been like for you? Uh, it's it's been an emotional roller coaster. Um, it's been a whirlwind because on the one hand, you know, De La Salle is a, a great opportunity, um, but on the other hand, you know, you're you're sad because uh, you know you love the the kids where you're at and your coaching staff. So, uh, you know, mi mixed emotions. It's definitely not easy. Um, because uh, Chippewa was very good to me and you know we went through a lot together the last two years especially so you know we're very close bond um, but uh, on the other hand you know to be able to get back into a Catholic school you know th that's just a unique opportunity that you never know if you're going to be able to have that again in your career. So. Sure, sure. And as one door opens, another one closes. We know this, uh, and it's fresh. But how are you going to look back at uh, at your time at Chippewa Valley? Uh, it, it, w it was a great experience. You know, I was um, coming from the Catholic League, so to be able to go to you know one of the larger public school teams um, in the state and compete in the MAC Red, I got to know a lot of really good coaches on opposing teams and um, you know the community out there in Clinton Township uh, was super supportive and um, you know you're gonna take the relationships with you you know the thing that it's always hard as a coach is you lose kids every year because your seniors graduate and um, they leave you um, but you hopefully stay in touch after that and you know that was kind of my message to my kids yesterday it's like I may not be here physically, but you guys are going to be leaving too, and you know that doesn't mean we can't stay in touch and stay close. But you know, the last two years after um, having three of our players pass away, and the, and the way right. we helped each other get through that as a community in a school, um, you know, I I just thank them, uh, my kids, my coaches, and in our community for helping us get through that because. It, it was pretty devastating. So we're always going to have that bond, and um, you know we're going to take that forward with us. Absolutely, and that's great. And this is life, and things change, things evolve, things you know we we move on, and, and we take advantage of uh, opportunities that we feel uh, are something we should do. And there's a lot of Catholic League football fans out there. It's a, obviously a, a passions and, and emotions run high. So for the De La Salle fans out there, let's say some who do not know you and want to get to know you right away, what can they expect from a, a Scott Merchant run program? Well, we're going to work hard. I can tell you that. Um, I'm, I'm going to hold myself to the, to the highest standard as far as that goes. Um, we're going to be prepared. We'll be disciplined. We're going to be tough and uh, we're going to get after it. Um, we're going to take a lot of pride in our, our school and in our program. And uh, we're gonna try to represent um, 
re represent the school and community with class and, and dignity at all times. But, um, you know, De La Salle's played great defense for a long time. Um, so I think, you know, that's kind of like the hallmark of them. You know, offensively, um, might be doing a few little different things that, that we did up at Chippewa. Um, so, um, but we have to meet the kids and, and make sure, you know, fit the personnel with the system and all that stuff. And, you know, that's what's different about high school is, you know, the coaches, you have to adapt to your players, whereas in college, you, you, you know, you bring kids in that fit your system. So, uh, you know, that's probably the, the most important thing is just, you know, starting to build relationships with, with the kids and the coaches and the, the teachers there and the families and um, get to know each other and, and trust one another. And then, you know, before you know it, it's going to be August and it's going to be time to get after it. That's right. The countdown clock has already begun. It's January, but of course now he's got to assemble a staff get these kids uh, uh, together and start uh, building a, a, a new philosophy and uh, maybe I, th I think probably continuing a lot of the old traditions and then of course interjecting uh, what you bring to the table and you know it doesn't get easy week one you got Lowell right out of the gate so you certainly know that uh, uh, it's going to be tough uh, right from the beginning and, and it's a good way to get these kids focused right away as well. Yeah I think anytime you play a, a quality opponent in week one that that kind of ups the ante in your off season and especially in the summer. But um, from a philosophical standpoint, and um, you know, I, I, let's be honest, Steel Sale has been really successful. So there's no reason to go in there and mm -mm. you know reinvent the wheel. Um, they've got great coaches and great kids. So um, we'll go in and like you said, you know, I, I might tweak a couple things here or there, but uh, that's, that's part of the job that that's appealed right. to me is because it's such a quality program. Um, yeah, I mean, Lowell's a great opponent, and um, the Catholic League, there's no weeks off in that league, so, but that's kind of what it's all about. You know, you want to find out how good you are, and you want to compete against the best, and, you know, Coach Fracasso, who was my coach, always said to be the best, you got to beat the best, and um, I think that's very true. So, mm -hmm. uh, I, I know, like, as a competitor, like, that excites me to play those caliber of teams, and you know, it was similar in the Mac Red, and we played in Lake Orion, and um, so you never really shy away from that because, um, you know, I think that's kind of what life's all about, where you're going to find out what are you made out of, and you're only going to do that when you're playing tough people, so. No question. It's a new era now in the Catholic League. You know, the, the old guard stood tall for so long. You know, we saw Dave Sofran take over at Brother Rice uh, for Alfred Casa. Now Paul Verska retires. Scott Merchant steps in, another... Uh, you know, deeply rooted Catholic uh, man. And, uh, you know, we'll see if uh, Tom Mack and George Porrick hang in there. I think they've got uh, several years left. They've got good teams. You've got a good team coming back. We liked watching them play the last few years, obviously, a state championship in the Pantheon. And we wish you nothing but the best of luck. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks, Warren. Right. Scott Merch, a new head coach at Warren D. LaSalle. Of course, we'll be all over this. StateChampsNetwork.com is where you go to get all the updates. Tom Markowski, Joe Cochran, they'll be working it. And uh, thanks for watching.